<laughs> hey, hey, everybody. Thanks for joining uh, on, a, on a short update. Uh, we're going to uh, kind of uh, clue you in on our uh, chart. Uh, stick around and you'll see how it came about. Hey, so first of all, how many miles have we run since we've last seen you? Zero. None. We have run zero miles since that 5K that we did in May. Um, we did that partially because we knew we were going to have a longer than usual training bout yeah. this time. Yeah. So we just decided by the end of the last one, we were a little burned out. Let's just give it a minute, mm -hmm. do other stuff, not run at all. And that's what we've done Yeah. until next week. Next week, it all starts. Yes. So it's all real. Uh, we signed up for all of our races. Mm -hmm. So we're signed up for the Disneyland Half Marathon in early February, for the El Paso Marathon in late February, and for the Calgary Marathon, we signed up for that um, like a week ago, uh, in late May. So that's what we're working towards. <laughs> and we can't back out now because we paid for all the registrations. So it's happening. It's happening. And if you recall, um, we have different goals this time than we've had in the past. Mm. These have, these two marathons that we're doing have stricter time limits mm -hmm. than the Disney marathons that we've done in the past. And the Disney marathons that we've done in the past, we've been like kind of hanging out pretty close to the kind of cutoff. Because the party is always in the back. But uh, yeah, so, so now we need to get up to at least a six hour. These races are are, uh, are faster paced than we've ever run. So we're a little uh, we're a little concerned about that. A little concerned. A little concerned. So uh, we're going to start running again. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to do a couple things to try to help us improve our times. The first thing, and David is not on board with this yet, but we're going to try. We have actively not done this in prior training goes we're gonna try to run three times a week oh yeah no, that's he's already not doing it and we haven't even started yet <laughs> he's like not gonna do it well here's the deal it uh, all jokes aside i'm still i'm hurting and it hurts and apparently there's nothing uh, nothing that medication is gonna do for it Medication did do, it was just I can't too high of a dose. It. Yeah, I can't take this medication for long because it messes with everything. You know, like when you watch commercials for, you know, some sort of medication, you know, side effects, maybe your head's going to fall off and all this kind of stuff. So anyway, uh, I just have scar tissue, uh, deep scar tissue that's uh, more, more than likely uh, pressing on a nerve. And so pain. So whatever. Uh, I'm not looking forward to that, but um, yeah, we'll, we'll do it. I'm I sure. still think we can... There's got to be a way to fix that. We just need to uh, figure out what it is. Um, so that's the first thing, running more often mm, a week. Mm. Um, the other thing that we're going to try a little different, um, I realized I was, you know, just wasting time one day flipping through my phone. Like, what are all these apps I never use? Oh, yeah. I was reminded that we have Nike Run Club. Mm. And I looked at it, and they have a marathon training thing. Mm. So um, we're going to start... Next week, our training, which will basically just be remember how to run. Make your legs run again a few times against your will. And then um, at a certain point, I think it's like week nine, we're going to switch over to the um, Nike Run Club marathon. So it's like sometimes we're going to do hill workouts well, and, and so, sometimes we're going to do so speed while, workouts. So while Laura explains this, take a look at what she put together in order for us to you know, maintain this, this training uh, program. Right. So if you followed along with us in the past, you know that we're a fan of sticker charts <laughs> and every year, my favorite part of, uh, getting ready, my most excited, it's like, you know, Christmas Eve or, uh, you know, back to school time. Yeah, I was excited to go back to school <laughs> and you know, uh, you get your little chart out. I love sticker charts. <laughs> it's, I made, I make one every year. And so this was the one that I made for this year. So we have our three columns for runs throughout the week and four columns for not run throughout the week. So our, our goal is just to like move every day mm -hmm. and do something, you know, strength training, core, cycling, dancing, wow. cycling, when yeah. the snow comes in, snowshoeing, cross country skiing, downhill yeah. skiing, you know, yeah. all that stuff. We're gonna yeah. just like move and then run on the days 
yeah. when we run. It's going to be, uh, I mean, it, you know, those of you who have done it, you know that your life is pretty much on hold <laughs> for the 20 plus weeks that you're training. It's going to be 40 for us because that yeah. other marathon is in May. Yeah. So we're just going to keep going. The real kicker for us is when it snows because it's hard enough running here because of the the mountain and and the surface you know there's there's it's all you know gravel and dirt and ruts and all that kind of stuff but then when the snow hits we're gonna have to like uh, okay so we have a few plans for that first one is the treadmill it's gonna be weird but if we're gonna like if we're gonna be out there for hours you know there's only three treadmills we don't want to tie up two of them mm -hmm. you know for extended periods of time especially when the whole time you're running you're staring at a sign that says if you're on a cardio machine please <laughs> yeah. only be there for 30, 30 minutes. minutes so that's one option um kind of a sub option is that of that is we buy some treadmills and put them in the garage and then we just spend several hours on those saturdays in the garage um another option will be to run in the snow some people have told us that it's really really nice they're not people who live here all the time yeah, so right. we'll see <laughs> we can you know if we feel like we need it we have um our crampons our micro spikes that we can put on our shoes yeah, maybe. and maybe we just run outside maybe maybe we just we try that uh the third four, the next two, one <laughs> three two point five <laughs> answer is um for our very long runs that are in the dead of winter I'm thinking about doing destination training runs. Like, let's just drive somewhere that is not as snowy, not as hilly, maybe a little lower elevation, and knock out these 20 miles or something. Like, I think that's going to be Which is the a only great way that we do it. It's a great idea, except we may not be able to go anywhere because we're kind of trapped. You know, that, it may that's, just take us a while to get there. That's, that's, so yeah, anyway, it's, it's just uh, yeah. some, some hurdles some we're going to encounter. But we're going to try. Yep. Really yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so week one of 40 weeks of running is next week. My parents are coming to visit for a week, so we'll see if we're able to get our weekly training videos going next week or if yeah, we're right. going to take a yeah. first week break for that, but we'll yeah. see. Well, the first week they're here, they're not going to be able to breathe, so... They're only here for one week. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. <laughs> it's one week, but it's a Wednesday to Wednesday. So uh, it's like in the uh, like two yeah. of our training weeks. Yeah. So um, we'll see what we can do. Yeah. We're going we're gonna to try to. Well, and the other thing too, uh, you know, throughout this training is uh, we're going to be training in um, shoes that we're not going to run the marathon right. or half marathon in. So that's going to be a little we're interesting. We're in trail shoes. For yeah. most of our training. Because we have to be. Not street uh, shoes. We yeah. tried, when we first moved here, we tried uh, <laughs> using our, our you know, bad. regular running shoes, and they were just beat to hell. Yeah. So, you know, it's like, that's not And we work. were slipping all over the place. Yeah. yeah. You have to have some grip around here. So, lots of challenges, uh, lots of uh, things to figure out, but here we go. So, yeah, let us know in the comments, you know, what kind of uh, challenges uh, you're encountering, or... If you have uh, done this, yeah. uh, how you overcame them, because uh, it's going to be really, really interesting. We are so grateful that you uh, tune in, that you watch. If you haven't, uh, like, uh, subscribe, hit the notifications bell. Uh, we're we're going to get, well, we're going to do our best to get back on a regular schedule, but we're uploading. And uh, I, I mean, everything that's going on, always an adventure with you. So we'll see you very soon.